Welcome back to Transcriber from Reddit. Today's copbit comes from the subreddit Am I the Asshole? Posted originally by user deep cell 3425. The post has the title of Am I the Asshole for Telling a Lady on the Plane to Suck It Up and Get a Private Flight Next Time? The post was removed according to the Am I the Asshole mod team. This was removed a day ago, and the message says, Your post has been removed. Do not repost this without contacting the mods for approval, including edited versions. Reposting without explicit approval will result in a ban. There's more to the message, but I think we got enough clue here that the original was removed, sadly. The original was very interesting. Now, I'm going to scroll here to find it because I wanted to do a compare and contrast between this post and the next post on the subreddit, Am I the Asshole? And I'm doing this for a good reason. People like myself who consider themselves to be child-free we do so for an important reason. Namely, we do not want to have kids. Now, the line that is drawn between those like myself who consider ourselves child-free, but we will interact with kids on our own time and choosing, versus others is, I understand and empathize with parents who are trying to get their kids under control and who have to wrangle the little sociopaths everywhere that they go. Versus a person who not only does not want to have kids, but actively hates kids and makes fun of and insults parents, sometimes even to their face, whenever they interact with them. Now that I found this post, let me go ahead and read it to you. OP wrote, I was on a three and a half hour flight from London to Athens as I was going to visit my family. Next to me on the plane, it was a mom with her around one year old baby. The baby was upset and crying almost the entire time. The mom was also in panic mode and would take the baby to the bathroom multiple times to calm him down. She kept apologizing for the disturbance to both passengers and the crew and I felt bad for her. She seemed extremely young and overwhelmed. A lady that was sitting on the seats in front of us kind of scolded the mom of the baby and told her word for word, quote, instead of being a crybaby like your kid, be better prepared next time since none of us are in a mood to hear screeching noises for almost four hours. That or leave your baby at home, end quote. The mom kept apologizing and said she couldn't leave her baby at home since she doesn't have anyone to care for her baby. The lady then said, quote, then don't travel. It's not a necessity. You chose to travel, end quote. The mom tried to justify herself saying how it is a necessity for her to travel in this case and it's for a family matter. The lady kept going and told the mom, quote, then find other ways to travel then get a car and travel or go on a train or bus, end quote. I had enough of this and I stood up for the mom. I asked the lady if she knows how much time it takes to travel from London to Athens in any other way and that a train or a bus is as much of a public transport as the plane is. I told her to be compassionate. She told me, quote, I don't have to be compassionate. I paid for my fucking seat and I want some peace and quiet, end quote. I told her to suck it up. She's in a public transport. If she wants peace and quiet, she should either book first class or a private jet next time. She shut up for the next of the flights, but made sure to pass by the mom and the baby and give disapproving side eyes multiple times. I was describing the story to my friend and she told me I was out of line talking like that to the lady. 
and I should have minded my business, quote, not your circus, sorry, let me begin that again, quote, not your circus, not your monkeys, end quote, is what she said, and said, I purposefully made myself an asshole in this situation. In this case, OP is not the asshole. Why? The mom had a reason to travel. The mom was doing everything she could to keep the baby under control. Babies will cry. Babies will cry regardless whether you want them to or not. In this case, the parent is doing everything she can to try to make travel easier for the people she's around because she understands that it's her baby, it's crying, and it's her job to manage it. And she's doing the best she can. Don't hate on the mom because the baby, for whatever reason, is crying for whatever reason that we know not of and will never know because they're babies and they can't talk. All they can do is cry and cry. The worst thing you can do in the situation is amplify it where it's not just a baby screaming, but it's a grown ass woman screaming at the mom saying, it's your fault, you shouldn't have traveled, you should have taken a different public transportation, which funny enough, you're just encouraging her to take another public transportation to inflict the baby screams on other innocent bystander ears. Does that help anything? Absolutely not. All that does is show how much of a bitch you are towards a young mother who's trying to get her baby under control and trying to do her best to be a mother. All you're doing is showing how much of a petty bitch you are. Now, to compare it to this other subreddit, am I the asshole topic, there was a post posted later that same day yesterday that read with the title, am I the asshole for asking a couple to stop changing their baby's diaper in the middle of a plane? Posted by user no underscore cartographer 8186. Here, different OP asks, I, 28 female, was on a flight for several hours today, seated behind a couple with a baby. I'm a really nauseous flyer, so I took a drama mean ahead of time and did my best to get some sleep during the flight. This didn't happen because of the baby's crying, but oh well, I know flights are scary and stressful for infants, and there was nothing anyone could do about that. What got to me was the couple changing their baby's extremely stinky number two diaper right in the middle of their seats, using the mom's food tray as a changing table. We were at the back of the plane right by the bathrooms, which I confirmed had baby changing tables when I had to go back there to throw up after the smell hit me. I didn't say anything the first time, but the second time I heard them go into the diaper bag a couple hours later, I asked if they could please go use the plane bathroom instead of exposing everyone on the plane to the smell. The mom went off on me and said I had no idea how stressful it is to travel with an infant, which is true. I don't have kids. The flight attendant at the back of the plane agreed with me and asked them to only use the bathrooms to change their baby. Plus, a few minutes later, the pilot made an announcement that all diaper changing needed to be done in the bathrooms, after which both parents looked extremely annoyed. Am I the asshole for asking them to stop changing their baby in the middle of the plane and inadvertently bringing it to the attention of the flight crew? Not the asshole, OP. Now, if you, in case you missed it from the first, I'm going to do the comparison right now. First story. Person is flying with mom and baby on plane. Mom is trying to get baby to stop screaming. Baby will not stop screaming. Grown ass woman decides that yelling at mom and screaming baby is the best solution. And that OP stuck up for the mom, which was good of OP. Here, 
OP number two is seated behind parent number one and parent number two and baby. Baby's crying, but OP has measures to make sure that they at least get a restful flight. So good on OP for being prepared. What does parent number one and parent number two decide they need to do with their baby? Change their diaper on the food tray. The food tray is not a changing table, first of all. It is where you put your food, snacks, and various other things you want to use to entertain yourself during the flight. Second, it is not a bathroom. The aromatic scent of a baby's diaper will travel and it will travel all the way to the airplane's air recyclers so that everyone can get a second chance to smell it if they missed out on it the first time. Third, this airplane had changing tables for parents. The parents, in this case, were too lazy to get their asses out of the seat to use the changing table so they could be courteous to the rest of the passengers on the flight. That's not even addressing that a baby's diaper holds poop and or pee and most of the time some combination of both. It is disgusting. It is still fecal matter and it is still considered biohazardous material, the same as any human's waste, whether adult or not. You don't do it on the food tray. Never. That is why bathrooms exist. That is why we have changing tables in the bathroom. If the smell made OP here vomit, what do you think the smell was going to do to other passengers on the plane? In this case, the parents were entitled because they thought that they could get away with exposing their child's fecal matter to the recycled air in the airplane and expect everyone to be okay with it. Not even thinking or having it register in their brains that maybe they should look for a changing table on the plane and that if they, and you know, say that they couldn't find a changing table on the plane. Still, you have both parents go to the bathroom, change your child's diaper in there because that is where human waste belongs. But no, they could not be considerate of other passengers. All they could think about what was easiest for them. Compared to the first parent, these two parents are the reason that people who consider themselves child-free really dislike. The first parent, not so much, because she's trying and you can't really reason with babies. These two parents, yeah, you both are there and you both knew better. Be adults. That concludes today's video. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.